Hi, my name is John Riley from Scottish Action on Climate Change and I wanted to make this video to express why I believe we must urgently introduce the carbon, the international carbon rationing framework called Contraction and Convergence. Um, the planet is presently at a critical stage where the concentrations of carbon dioxide are at 383 parts per million. Um, and it's forecast that uh, when we get to 400 parts per million that we could very easily uh, experience runaway climate change which will be completely uncontrollable um, and that could happen in as little as seven years. Um, at this point in time we have been trying to persuade people to reduce their emissions um, and that just seems to be completely futile. The government is trying taxation on roads and flights and all that means is that people who can afford to pollute will continue to pollute. Um, it's a lot of guesswork and hope, which we just can't, we can't afford to go down that track. We must now control things internationally. So um, the um, contraction and convergence framework works from the principle of accepting that we're all born with an equal right to pollute the planet. We don't have any more of a right than the Americans and the Americans don't have any more of a right than the Chinese and the uh, Indians or the Africans. We all have an equal right and that should be our ultimate objective that we have an equal entitlement to emit carbon dioxide. Um, we then have to say okay what is the safe concentration that the planet can actually stand? What, what is going to keep us safe um, is it 400 parts per million, is it 450, is it 500, is it 550, um, as the Stern report suggests. Um, and the frightening thing is that the present Kyoto Protocol doesn't actually tell us what the safe concentration is, so it's, it's all complete guesswork going nowhere specifically. So, what is the safe concentration? And then, uh, by what date in the future do we want to get to this uh, equal per capita, uh, equal per person, um, ration or entitlement to emit carbon dioxide. So we know what the safe concentration is, we know we want to get there um, and we then have to say okay how do we divide up the uh, carbon dioxide um, entitlements if you like that the planet can emit every year. We know what the total has got to be to keep us safe and how can this be divided up between each country. And contraction and convergence suggest that we start by allocating each country an emission entitlement in line with their present emission levels and that they then schedule a contraction year on year until we get to this equal per capita level, equal per person level, at a fixed date in the future. And the degree of contraction will be adjustable as the Earth's ability to absorb uh, carbon dioxide uh, diminishes which is happening across the planet just now as the ability to remit to absorb carbon dioxide reduces we have to adjust this level of contraction to take account of that and contraction and convergence does that in the meantime whilst the rich countries are reducing their um, carbon dioxide emissions quite drastically the developing world the poorer countries will actually be able to increase their uh, uh, emission entitlements uh, year on year until we get to this equal level and what that means is that if we give them an entitlement that they don't use they will be able to sell it to the western world and make an income from that and use that to buy clean technologies and become more energy efficient so the overall driver for both the rich and poorer countries will be to move towards energy efficiency and cleaner technologies so all this makes an awful lot of sense. We know where we're aiming, we know what the data is we want to get there, and we agree that equality um, has to be the way forward if we are to stay safe. If this makes sense to you, please, please, please do something about this. You have to talk to all your friends, family and colleagues and explain it to them. You have to talk to your MPs and say, why is the UK not adopting this as their stance for all international climate change negotiations? It's been there for 15 years. We must now get behind it. You can have a copy of this DVD if it helps to explain things to other people. We can get you explanation leaflets. All you have to do is contact me through my website, which is saocc.org.uk. That's S-A-O-C-C dot org dot U-K or telephone me on 01899 229 429. That's 01899 229 
429 and I will get you all the information you need to be able to communicate this to everybody you know. Uh, we must wake up, we must do something about this, we have very little time to do it, please take action now and thank you for listening.